Hi, my loves. I pray that you are well, doing amazing, feeling amazing, holding on to hope and faith, you guys. Today is Thursday, December the 10th. If you guys don't know, whoever is joining in with us, we are fasting until 6, 7, or 8, depending on what you can do, how you can fast, or whatever. Um, one of my subscribers made a comment that if you cannot fast due to whatever situations, you know, you can always donate, you can always, anything that's going to be a sacrifice to you, anything. If you, you want to give up cigarettes for a few hours, if you know you got a problem with drinking, if you want to give up drinking, you know, until the time, if you want to, anything that's going to be a sacrifice to you, then that is what you choose to do. I know for me, as you all know, it's always food. Food is my biggest sacrifice. Day one, honestly, I barely made it to, tw I barely made it to 12, I think. And I had something to eat. Then I went the rest of the day without eating. And then had something small in the evening. Day two, I made it to three o'clock. You know what I mean? I made it to three o'clock and then, um, day three i made it to five o'clock so this is the next day it is 12 32 i'm just now having something i'm having a, um fruit almond and cheese snack tray so i'm gonna have this and um just be done with it until six o'clock and break my fast with something small and just continue to fast and pray you guys and I just wanted to say, like, this life is not perfect. Fasting is not perfect. Our journey is not perfect. But I was reading in my word in Isaiah. Ooh, it's in my notebooks. But I know it's in Isaiah. It said, and it stuck with me. If you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. So at the end of the day, all God wants is a willing heart he is going to work with you he is going to grace you he is going to give you mercy he is going to show you the way he is going to speak to you there are a lot of things and a lot of people that i had to let go and i tell you the moment i released things are happening things are happening yeah it goes without saying that the enemy is still rearing his head and doing what he do but i tell you what today is the first day in three weeks two and a half three weeks that my baby has is walking upright with the pain level at a three that pneumonia was trying to hold on to my baby and literally trying to literally take her out the prayers of the righteous availeth much you guys we have been praying we have been praying and we are fasting and god is doing a thing in the earth he is shaking and moving mountains. So be not afraid. Stand tall. Stand in your power. Be encouraged on today. We are coming up at the end of the year. I know it may not look it. Things are still going crazy in a ray out there in the world. But we are not of the world. We are not of the world. We are not worried about what they got going on. We are here to stand in the gap. We are here to fast. We are here to pray. And we are here to continue to be the light of the earth. And I am just so thankful and grateful to God on today that his word is true. That we are strong and mighty through him. Through him. And may his will for our lives continue to be, continue to, to be done. You know, for his will. It is his will over our lives that I, that I desire most. So, with that being said, I just wanted to come on here and encourage you guys, my loves. And even when I'm fasting, if I get a little hungry, if I'm getting a banging, banging headache, I will have like a couple of pieces of grapes or I'll take another thing that will help while fasting. I wanted to share this with you guys. Take a big spoonful of peanut butter and eat that thing. It'll kind of calm you down, calm your nerves. and Because my body is like, girl, what? Girl, what? Ain't this what you do every day? All day? You, you eat, you scarf, you what? Girl, what? Headache, weak, can't barely walk. Baby, this thing is breaking this flesh down. Yeah, you need to be broke all the way down so that we can go ahead and uh obtain <laughs> what the Lord wants us to have. We ain't going to keep playing with you, flesh. Because you need a rip. Our flesh need a rip. Our flesh is not what's up. Our flesh is not what's up. So if we got to break this thing down, let's break it down and let's continue to see God move. I know my sister was telling me, um, she's just been, everything has been quickened, 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 
quick and things are happening quicker for her quicker for her quicker for her god is speaking to her so if you are in this fast if you're not in a fast and you want to join in and carry this thing out into the new year let's do this we are fasting in the morning and of course in the morning every morning i have my coffee because you know I, I'm, I feel like I'm grown now I'm grown now with my Keurig so you know it just makes me feel grown to put on my robe and walk in the kitchen and you know do that thing so you know you know it's just it's, it's an experience this whole thing is just an experience and I feel good I thank God I'm about to go to Burlington and wrap up Christmas shopping I told y'all the kids are not getting much you know they will get a few things but we're not going all out like we usually do and um we're going to continue to heal, continue to move on, continue to rock and roll. Find something to be grateful for, you guys. I love you oh so much. And until the next time, inspire, be inspired. I love you guys. God bless you. Good day. I'm home and I'm back. Um, Y'all, yeah, don't sleep on the Dollar Tree. I mean, I know these times are hard right now, but you can get some stuff at the Dollar Tree. They got some name brand stuff. They have a, a lot of cute so I picked up some stocking stuffers to just kind of like finish. Everybody get a new toothbrush and a stocking stuffer. Some puzzles we can put together. Everybody got stuff to finish there um, so I can finish stuff in the stocking. Some little squishies, some stuff for TJ. These cute little um, mind teasers that the kids can kind of keep busy with their head. These little squishies right here, really, really cute. I got one for TJ and one for Tariana. Everybody gets a new toothbrush, their favorite color. A little yo-yo. What else, what else, what else? And that. Then they also have these really, really cute boxes, y'all. For the clothes. Ain't that cute? Deck the halls with lots of jolly. Fa la 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 la. Mary and Bright. Despite what we go through, y'all, you got to make a conscious decision and effort to. Cute, huh? With the little puppy dogs on it. And this one has gloves. Oh, look at the puppies. And look at this one. And then the other side is. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. So, and then I pretty much just wrapped it up, you guys. I would like the kids to understand that Christmas is not just, you don't just get things just because it's Christmas. It ain't, come on now. Christmas ain't, it ain't really about that. Anyway, it's just about being thankful and grateful for being here. And, you know, it's about the Christmas spirit and helping and giving. That's really what it's about. So, and they need to understand that. And so, until they get better around this house, until they get better with keeping up their room, doing what I'm asking them to do, it, look, your Christmas gonna be very bleak. I mean, they gotta, they gonna have a few little things, but it ain't gonna be nearly nothing. So, click the link down in the comment section, and it's gonna explain why I feel the way I feel about the kids and Christmas. It's where I'm at. I know it's where a lot of parents are at right now. And it'll just explain to you a little bit better. It's gonna to explain to you a little bit better. Click that link right there. Click that link right there. And because, I, because I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I got my lip gloss ready and it's gonna let you know why. And until they get it together up in here and get a little bit more mature and help out a lot better and do what they're supposed to do, click that link. Click that link. Click that link and let them let them let them let them let them tell let them tell you how I feel to all the mothers. I got y'all in prayer. We are in prayer because we tired. And I know we tired. Let the link tell you. Let the link tell you. Let it tell you, we doing us. <laughs>